Hey everybody, I'm here today to answer a very simple question about engine stop start systems. The simplistic question that I will be answering is the following. I will be answering the question of, do stop start systems actually save gas while driving? And I'll be giving you an honest answer. Once again, the question that I will be answering is the following question. I will be answering the question of, do stop start systems actually save gas while driving? driving and I'll be giving you an honest answer so let's get into this the quick and short answer is yes they actually do save gas while driving and I'll tell you why modern cars are built differently than older cars so essentially with older cars <clears throat> when you would start them up right they would waste a lot more gas starting up than if you just let them idle so a lot of the times back in the day people instead of turning off their car for a minute or two and then starting it again they would just let it idle for that minute or two because they figured it's wasting less gas. That's just because of the way the older engines were made and stuff like that. But with modern technology, cars essentially waste the same amount of gas idling as they do starting and stopping. Meaning, let's say I started my car and let it idle for 10 seconds. So that, like from the time that I turned the key to start it and, and let it idle, it would have been 10 seconds, let's say. So I started it and let it idle and shut it off for 10 seconds. That would waste the same amount of gas as if I just let it idle for 10 seconds. So let me, let me clear that up. Let's say in this 10 second span, and I started the car and let it idle and turned it off. So within 10 seconds, I started the engine, let it idle and turned it off, okay? And within this 10 second span, I just, it was already started, I just let it idle for 10 seconds. That would waste the same amount of gas. So starting your car wastes basically the same amount of gas as it does just letting it idle. So an engine stop start system will stop the engine and turn it off when, you know, when it thinks that you're not going to be using it, like at a red light, at a stop sign, blah, blah, blah. So let's say I'm sitting at a red light for 30 seconds right now, and my engine stop start system stops the engine for 30 seconds. That means I would have saved 30 seconds worth of gas compared to the car being running for that 30 seconds. So if you can follow what I'm saying, and when you imagine all of the gas, all of the, the moments, if you, if you calculate, let me clear my thoughts here. <clears throat> if you calculate all of the moments and seconds and minutes that your engine is stopped while you're in stop and go traffic let's say by the time you get home your engine has been turned off for 10 minutes you essentially will have saved 10 minutes worth of idling gas okay um yeah so however many minutes your engine has been stopped during the engine stop start process compare that to how much gas it would have wasted idling during those minutes and that's how much gas you saved so yeah they save gas is it a ton depends on where you live for myself, I don't drive, like I'm very fortunate enough to be able to make my own schedule now. So I make sure to really try to not drive during traffic hours. So I rarely drive and stop and go traffic. So my engine stop start system, not in this vehicle, I'm in my CRV, it doesn't have that feature. But in my van, in my Odyssey, my Honda Odyssey, it does have that feature. It does save a little bit of gas, but for my situation, not a ton. But if you're driving and stop and go traffic a lot, yeah, you can save a ton of gas. So yeah, there's the answer. If you like this video explanation, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching